Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. Your daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. And for uh, what is it, Tuesday? Tuesday. For a Tuesday, we're doing errands and a home night. So get ready for this and a big old giveaway later on. Oh yeah, Sarah is a fiend. <laughs> and I don't know what any of them are, so it's like a taste test every time. Right as we were discussing the hot bar right there, our food came. So it's Taco Tuesday. So we get all for six bucks. You get chips and two tacos. But yeah. we got black beans we got and black refried beans. beans. And refried beans. And all the normal fixings, plus a side of rice guac. with no cheese, guac, refried beans, and of course all of the sauces. I'm like tingling in here. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Alright, we're checking in. I demolished mine. How you doing? Spicy? That's what our sauces look like. The chips are my favorite and I like how they do like this because then I can eat most of mine with nothing on them. How I like them. You know? And so I can have all the dips and, and sauces and seasonings. I just Ooh. know I have a million spices in my teeth. <laughs> I don't think they're too bad. We met another vlogger in there. Yeah, the, the woman who took our order is not her and her fiance are vloggers. Come on. We're going to the car. Now we gotta go shopping. Um, take a look at those clouds. It's a good thing we weren't planning on a park night. Because that looks brutal. The nail salon the same name as the nail salon I'd go to back in, well, it was in Oakland, Philippines. A new Aldi that's not an hour away. This is huge for anybody who's trying to go to Aldi when they're on vacation in Disney World. You this could even do, what did Rock use? DoorDash. DoorDash. Yeah, and this is a brand new Aldi, and it's only like seven miles away from Disney, and I think the other two closest ones are like 15 miles away or something. Yeah. I don't know, they were like 45 minute drives from Disney property, and this is probably 15, 20. This is the coolest grocery store we've ever been to. This looks like a real grocery store. It smells like fresh yogurt and I love it. <laughs> this is the coolest place. And it's also, I realized the other day that vegan shopping is almost easier. Because there's only like two sections in the entire store that you can you go to. You just have to like plan what you're going to eat. Yeah, the planning is, is harder. And yeah. the figuring out what you want to eat is harder. But once you do, the and shopping... Too many other the shopping is easy. Yeah. And we're going to order some... Tonight. Produce bags because this is not cool. Not cool. This is cool. It's all the local farmers. That Aldi. Nice one. Can we please get Big, Big Joe? Joe? Hey, I'm Big Joe. <laughs> All these the best for the stuff that you never knew you needed. Yeah. Like that inflatable bowl for the pool. Or a USB turntable with Bluetooth. Perfect. A work zone. Oh wait, they got the Toy Story 4 game going on? It comes out this weekend. We're busy the night it comes out. And we don't have tickets for Friday. Distress. That is a marketing at its finest. Beautiful. In the UK, they do a Aldi wine advent. Really? All that right there. Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight doll hairs right me. there. I guess. What I guess ninety. You guess ninety. I didn't guess, I just wanted it to be so as awesome as possible. But now we're going to go actually go back to near the Tijuana Flats to go to the Publix. Because there's a few things I didn't have. Yeah. But this is why we're doing today, today. Right. The clouds don't look as bad. Oh, fogging up again. <laughs> Do we think it rained while we were inside? I think it did. There's the Aldi. Here's the Publix. We forgot there was one right here. If you were not aware, uh, Publix has a whole like vegan section. Like there's all the, the different kind of vegan cheeses. Crazy about I was thinking about getting like real jackfruit and like cutting uh, it up ourselves, not like predetermined. Okay. This is like the base of a lot of recipes I've seen, but I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know if I'm ready for that either. Does anybody have a song? Leave a comment down below if you have a song that it just like means the world. <laughs> this is Sarah's song. Come on, Eileen. It's my car jam. 
really good song. It was not on the boat for Carolyn. It always comes in, in in important moments. I don't know yet why right now is important, but it is because the song came on. There's so many options in this store. And Sarah doesn't do well with options. <laughs> Luckily, I'm full. Otherwise, yeah, that was the other point. Yeah. Sarah and I are notorious for going shit food shopping when we're hungry, and then I lose all filter and I just buy everything. I'm about to buy a kombucha for myself though. Still dancing. <laughs> but Sarah discovered this cool thing that they've featured nails here at Publix. And they have like the instructions you can just take. It gets even cooler. They have the feature one out with all the things you need to make it. And it's all right here underneath the Publix apron simple meals. Everything you need. What the heck? It is Inca Cola out in the wild. Club Cool? Club Cool is Publix. <laughs> what? I need Beverly now, please, Publix. We are those people who <laughs> didn't think they needed that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and this is all is glass. <laughs> the total for Publix we carried around in our hands was 41 bucks compared to the 88. That's crazy, but it's delicious stuff. Yeah, and we got we got extra stuff. Sarah literally said when we, as we walk out, we probably won't have to grocery shop for two weeks now. So yeah. pretty good deal. And I got a kombucha. I truly, truly, truly wish that we had vlogged before like obviously we've talked about for our honeymoon but just like when we lived on the north side in Chicago Peter worked overnight and I would do the grocery shopping by myself and I would like have the same mentality where like I thought I'd be able to carry it but I wouldn't be able to but like the grocery store was down the street and then I'd be like I can get one more thing I can get so one much, more thing it would have been so much fun if we vlogged in Chicago I know <sighs> ACS donations are coming in and it's great because they don't even know that the giveaway is started. We got two today. And they're entered into our giveaway. Like you can make it. She thinks it's bedtime because we've been home. But it is not that time. <laughs> okay, just go to sleep right there. Two hours later. This is what happens when she gets confused by staying home for a whole night. Are you gonna get us? Are you tired, Avers? Ready for bed? All right, guys. So it's hours later. We watched about three hours, two hours, two hours. Not hours since we showed Evie, though. That just right. happened. <laughs> but tonight we spent about two hours watching New Girl. Mm -hmm. We ended on a Christmas episode. We did. Which was nice. Um, but we're gonna go to bed soon because I have to get up and run five miles in the morning, and we're going to bed early. But I got a cool package in the mail today from our, our friends over at, from, at American Cancer Society. And it's gonna, the package we got today is gonna kick off our little giveaway that's gonna go on for the next 10 weeks. Next 10 weeks, we're gonna do a giveaway every Saturday during Breakfast of the Brookharts. Starting this week. Starting this week. So, how you enter is well, first of all, anybody who's already donated to the, the Dopey 2020 Challenge page is already entered. Mm -hmm. But if you'd like to enter, all it is is a minimum of $20 donation to the, to the American Cancer Society through the link down below. But every, or, yeah, in Peter's name to build name. towards our goal for the Dopey Challenge of this year. Yeah. And then, or, I'm sorry, it's technically next it's year. January it's January of 2020. But what how it works is every Saturday breakfast with Brooke Hearts, we're going to randomly select a prize for you and randomly select a name of a winner. So all you have to do is enter once. It'll last the next 10 weeks. Even if you don't win the first seven weeks, your name is still in there for any of them. And every $20 donation is, or increment of $20, is an entry in. So if you donate, say, $40, that's two entries. I didn't even know that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's great. why this is starting now is because we got a cool, cool package from our friends over in Chicago. And I want, those are going to be three of the awesome prizes that I'm going to show you right now. Hold on. A size large athletic fit running shirt from American Cancer Society for team determination. That's the team I'm on. Here comes Eve. So your shirt will so, have been rested on by <laughs> Yes. 
So this is one of the shirts we're gonna give away one week. Here is a size large singlet, great for exercising in, there's no sleeves. This is a, gonna be another week. And this, I almost wanted to keep for myself, but we're not gonna, because we don't need it. It's like a charcoal gray American Cancer Society. This is not, just letting you know, this is not for working out. It's not that material, it's all cotton. But American Cancer Society, Team Determination, long sleeve. Canvas, look at this. It's a canvas tee. That's some high quality craftsmanship right there. <laughs> right, Eve? So that is three of the gifts. Brent, what are they called? Giveaway? <laughs> Which brings us to our, <laughs> to our next seven giveaways. So basically, I want all of our inventory of buttons and stickers to be gone before we move. And Well, if you didn't know, for some of you, we on our brookartproject.com shop used to be called the Plain Crazy Button Club because Sarah actually designed a subscription service Disney inspired it was buttons cool back in the day. and stickers. Shout out if you were a part of it. Yeah, put a comment down below if you were a member. Um, but we have a ton of inventory and we want to give it to you guys because it's a piece of a real, like, American Cancer Society shirts are a piece of us, mm -hmm. but that's more for that organization. I'll show you some. These are all custom designs it's by like Sarah Brookhart. A Peter Pan's, like, window sticker. This one's actually one of my favorites. It's half the pink dress, half the blue dress from Cinderella. So seven of the prizes will be a, just a big package of a ton of these stickers and a bunch of our buttons. Basically, I'm going to give you one of everything that I have, depending on size like and I have quantity. Si I have certain sizes of some. Are you sure to save the Maelstrom? Yeah, so this is save Maelstrom. This is when we were hurting from <laughs> the Maelstrom closing. Yeah. Um, there is just a bunch. What are you... This is Madame Leota's tombstone. There's a bunch of sizes. This is like a Christmas slash Peter Pan. Believe. Second star to the right. Um, what else? This one is one of my favorites. This is a newspaper that says a suitcase. A suitcase. And a and dream, a dream from, and a suitcase. Um, and California a dream. Adventure Charlie Show. So basically, the other seven packages are going to just be like a ton of stuff. Ton of those things. So yeah. So every Saturday during breakfast with the book carts, we're gonna I'll, there's like randomization apps. We're gonna randomize. We're gonna draw like two things. The one's gonna be what is the prize? Because until we get rid of them, we're gonna have three shirts. You have a you have a, a randomly chosen chance to get either a shirt or one of these packs, and then a name as well. So anybody, the links always down below for the Dopey Challenge 2020. It's going to be like our last big American Cancer Society fundraising for a little bit. Um, oh, this is the last one of this. Ooh. Which is, you can learn a lot of things from the flowers from Alice in Wonderland. And Sarah so, used to actually really print cool. these when she worked in Chicago. Yeah. She would print these herself at the shop she worked at. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So very much a labor of love piece of the Brook Hearts. <laughs> and it's going towards a great cause, towards my great okay. fun runs. I have, I did the math today, I have like a hundred and nine miles between November and Dopey mm -hmm. that I'm registered to run for it and then we're gonna see what we're gonna do about fundraising after this one but once we hit the four thousand dollars for American Cancer Ready that'll bring our lifetime fundraising up to ten thousand yeah. dollars our goal is from Dopey to Dopey to raise ten thousand dollars and we're just that's why this goal is set at four thousand whereas last year was three thousand that's not because ACS raised it it's because we raised it we yeah. raised the bar to four thousand because we know we can get to that for and ultimately raise ten thousand dollars between us two and all of you guys towards this and like they like we'll put a link down below to the video that just when we visited the office in Chicago we learned a lot about like they give wigs to people fighting cancer they give mm -hmm. bus tickets train tickets hotels because like people who don't live 24 close twenty four hour chat access for just support overall right like pre during and post treatment yeah yeah so this portion of our fundraising will be going on for 10 weeks mm -hmm. and we'll probably do some other stuff for fundraising mm -hmm. as after that um but this is what we're gonna do for now yeah, yeah. oh this is a good one by holbrook jackson happiness is a form of courage all right my friends thank you for watching this very non-traditional vlog but our vlog is our life and mm -hmm. today this was our life mm -hmm. and i think that's gonna turn out to be bad for me 
because I have so much energy right now. <laughs> I am not tired at Don't all. Don't sleep. I'm not tired. <laughs> but we got to go to bed because it's 11 and we got to get up. Early. Well, you're going to get up at 7 then because you're going to get 8 hours. I'll get up at 5 to run. Um, you can do it. I know. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>